Hello guys, welcome back and in today's video we're going to talk about Vala specifically. Now Vala is the first limited character that it's going to appear on her own limited banner during the official release of, AF of AFK Journey. Now why is Vala so good? Vala is basically, I would say she's top tier at the moment in almost everything. Maybe she falls off a little bit during the dream battle, the dream boss. Mainly because of the uptime, because she's switching between melee and 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 ranged, uh, it's good in every other aspects of the game. But during the boss, you want to do as much uptime, you want to have as much uptime as possible. And part, if not like a decent amount of her kit, is spe specialized in actually battling against other units and not necessarily against the boss. That said, she does a lot of damage. She has a lot of crit, and she is able to teleport with her ult. Uh, to the enemy team. Now, she has two stances, a ranged stance and a melee stance. And the AI, luckily, it's really intelligent in that, in that regard, and it, it can choose fairly well when to switch to, to melee and go melee and when to just stay and just snipe from afar. Now, the snipe also stuns and the 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 switch the melee the melee alt version also stuns, but she teleports into the enemy team. Sometimes it's not the best choice. So thankfully, thankfully the AI doesn't do uh, too bad too bad of a work. Okay. Now her X weapon is extremely good. You really want to get her as soon as possible, and she will be unlocking it at Mythic Plus. Now one of the good things that you want to have at Mythic Plus as well, that you will unlock, is the Night Maneuver. When an enemy is defeated, Vala hides in the darkness and can only be targeted after all other allies are defeated. Increasing movement speed by 60 and haste by 80 for 10 seconds and unlocks a Mythic Plus. Now, this is extremely powerful, especially in PvP, but also in normal uh, battles as well, because most of the times, there's, only, there's always going to be a unit that dies, in the enemy team, the moment that unit dies, it could be anyone else. You can also use Vala to kill the unit. So you snipe the healer off, they die. You go in untargetable, and uh, yeah, you cannot be targetable. You go around the, the 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 battle, killing everybody or doing your damage, and they can't do anything about it. So that's extremely important for a unit like this. But the good part is the fact that you cannot be targeted. Okay, you also get haste by 80 and movement speed so if even if you are in a battle with, with uh, obstacles you will be able to you will be able to uh, go around obstacles like extremely fast now this becomes more be better and better better with the exclusive equipment because increases movement speed okay but level 3 level 10 uh Equipment level 10, Vala restores 40% of her max HP when a marked enemy is defeated, which is the what she does. At a certain point, I believe it's uh, the notice. Yeah, the notice beforehand, she says, okay, you are my target. And be before the battle, you can adjust Vala position to select the target that you want. Now, it's not you cannot select every unit in the game. It's going to attack a specific unit in, like, there's going to be the farthest enemy. So you can attack the healer that is, if it's in the middle or something like that, okay? So uh, you can technically counter Vala in that regard, but she will always have a marked, a marked target and... With that in mind, right, she's going to go to the mark target, and if you kill it, you restore 40% of her max HP, which is huge, right? It's 40%. If she, it's a lot, 40%, and she's untargetable, okay? Because you just killed it. So she becomes like a, a menace in the fight, and that's why you actually kind of want to rush to Mythic Plus as soon as possible, if you can. Now, it's a premium character. I am kind of close. I haven't spent any money. I'm free to play uh, on the PTR. It's and uh, basically, uh, I'm really close. I just need one more, uh, two more uh, options here, two more copies, and I will be able to get her to Mythic Plus to unlock her weapon, which is really, really good. Now, uh, on the banner here, on the Noble Tavern, this is where you get her. You have a 40 PD, and you have a 3% chance of getting Vala, and it's there's no 50-50. So you just get Vala, okay? So which is extremely good. You can also set up a wish list in case you want to also uh, get other A rank units, which are the purple one. The A rank, if you need some specific other options, you can uh, switch them here, right? And you can get a uh, X amount of copies of Vala. And this changes depending on your general level. As you can see here, 
your ch chances of receiving Vala in rate up recruitment depend on the max tier of your other heroes. So if you have uh, heroes of mythic, right? If your the max tier is mythic, now you can have six total chances. Now I need, now basically I need another mythic character, and I will get I will get two more two more chances. So you can eventually get a lot of extra copies of Vala, and you can be you can be pulling for her more and more. Now the thing is that she uses this. Uh, this envelope, the red envelope, the rate up invite letters. There's no way, there's no way for you to get it outside of converting your diamonds. So what I usually say is, do not use your diamonds here whatsoever or in the on the guild store to buy this uh, this scrolls, this um, these envelopes of any type. You can buy the celestial one if you want, but the others one, do not touch them. Arena store, same thing. Dim store, you can do anything about it anyway. On the guild store, don't be baited too much. Try to uh, use your car your your diamonds only for Vala, because that way you can uh, ensure to get her every time. This is just 40 PD. It's not even that much. It's really common for you to also get her kind of early if you want, since you need so many copies. Now, you just need six copies total so just i mean you know what i mean right uh, just need six to get her to the maximum tier so it's not go it's not going to be too crazy but here i need eight more lucius and i will be able to uh, get him to mythic plus to mythic and then which means that i can get more valas from the standard banner so keep that in mind you need also another character right but going back to vala it's an extremely powerful unit she is a rogue so whatever the gear is she is using the rogue gear so try to get like a good rogue equipment going. Uh, don't don't neglect it. Not neglect it too much. Uh, it's really important, right? Because uh, the um, the equipment are here, so you you want to get the best gear possible for Vala. Now, uh, as you can see here in the game, they all always share the same gear. Now this might be a little bit of a problem if you don't really want to uh, cater too much on the rogues. But if you are pulling for Vala, you should be doing your best to get the best gear possible, in my opinion. Now, can I do the level 90? I can, yeah. Okay, I'm kind of close though. So yeah, so Vala, extremely good. Is she worth pulling? Yes. Uh, should you max it up? Yes. She's really good in PvP. She's really good in PvE. Early game, mid game, late game. She's fine. On the dream bosses, she loses a little bit, I think, compared to other characters because of the uptime. Okay? She still does really, really well, but it's an uptime situation sometimes, and she might not be the best at dealing constant damage over and over and over because she's not always ranged she's going to eventually switch to melee go melee and maybe go outside the range of some healers for example smoky so keep that in mind maybe if you run a haywin with um uh, with Vala is going to be a little bit better, so keep that in mind. Uh, that said, I think that's it. Let me know if you have any other things to say about Vala, if you have any other options or insights about the character that you would like me uh, for me to address. Uh, any questions, leave them, them down in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think. Leave a like, subscribe. I also stream on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash Jagazin, or you can join my Discord in the description. There's a link there, so you can join. We can join my guild, right? I'm going to be streaming the game doing more videos about it so you can subscribe for more guides and stuff like that okay so thank you for watching and see you next time